What up, YouTube? This your boy, Crypto Roots, a.k.a. The Real Black Satoshi, a.k.a. Crypto Marley. Back up in our house again. Chilling, son. Chilling. Today, I want to talk about decentralization and uh, aspects of it and how to start taking the first steps towards achieving that as if that was a, ever a really end result. It's, it's just a continuation of everything. Uh, it's decentralizing. I grew up in the hood and I didn't know shit about organic food, organic produce, farming, none of that shit. I ate out the fucking grocery store and the fast foods just like everybody else. I was raised that way, unfortunately. But after moving to Berkeley and eating like vegans and vegetarians and then moving to Hawaii, shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody eat healthy for the most part. A lot of people eat healthy. A lot more people eat healthy out here. And a lot of people start farming. And just so you know, I'm just trying to make it, trying to get by, I started farming. And now, shit, I'm a full grown organic farmer. That's what I love. That's what I do. I think farming is it's the first step towards decentralization is growing your own food growing your own organic food and with with the war monsanto and gmos we need to really start looking at decentralization not just on a digital level but here in this physical natural world is we should start growing our own food breaking away from the system and they hate that they hate that. that's the last thing they want to hear like the last thing they want to hear is bitcoin hitting 20k and the last thing they want me to tell you and what the world to start doing is growing their own food but this is exactly what we need to be doing it ain't nothing new people still do it but i guarantee you the mass majority of the population does not know how to grow their own food and that's one of the reasons i really started taking farming seriously and now you know no matter where i'm at i at least try to eat if i can't grow my own food I buy from people who do grow with their own food. And that's why y'all y'all niggas need to start uh, supporting farmers markets, you know? As much as you're going to go on exchanges and trade crypto and talk crypto, you need to start really decentralizing and going to the farmers markets and supporting these people who, who are decent, decentralizing on a different level. And if, if, you could, uh, if you're a farmer, if you start accepting crypto for your produce, I guarantee you that's when things are really going to start uh meshing in and blending together with with uh food on the blockchain apparently that's you know that's going to be food's going to be on the blockchain you, you don't know when it, for the most part you're going to know when it was harvested when it was cut down where it was shipped how long it's been in the store and that's a beautiful thing and if you're not growing your own food you're not really decentralizing you you go into a central authority to get your food and you don't know what the fuck they're putting in your food you don't know how long how fresh you don't know nothing about your food you need to start growing your food and or support supporting uh farmers who do grow their own food and this is off the blockchain and soon and soon it will be on the blockchain so y'all niggas really need to start getting it together it's the last thing they want me to talk about but i gotta talk about it start growing your own food crypto roots i'm out peace